Hi, Kim West, the Sleep Lady, and today I'm going to answer Kate's question. She wrote in quite a long email, but I want you to hear all the details because I think it's really important. Our son John is 10 months old and is still waking nearly every hour starting from about midnight or 2 a.m. until he wakes up at 6.45 a.m. My husband and I are so sleep deprived from the disrupted sleep, we're feeling at the end of our rope. We feel like we've closely followed your strategies, but somehow are not getting him to sleep all the way through the night. His bedtime is consistently between 7 p.m. and 7.30 p.m. We have followed your strategies of letting him fall asleep on his own, and he does this quite successfully with little to no fuss. He takes two naps each day at roughly 10 a.m. and 2 p.m., generally, generally lasting about an hour and a half to two hours each. He's eating well, and he doesn't seem to be hungry, or at least really shouldn't be hungry as he's healthy weight, and we're not offering him any overnight fe feedings. He does use a pacifier at naps and at night, and when he does wake up, we generally pop the pacifier back in his mouth, and he goes right back to sleep. Sometimes it takes a bit more soothing, but regardless, either my husband and I are getting up, walking to his room to soothe him, and then trying to get back to sleep ourselves just to be woken about exactly an hour later. At times we thought it was waking during due to teething or discomfort from ear infections, but this still occurs even when we believe that neither of those are an issue. Honestly, we simply can't figure it out. If the pacifier might be the issue, I'm not sure how to break that pacifier. Any advice is much appreciated, Kate. Kate, the reason why I wanted to answer your email is because I get so many emails saying, I tried the Sleep Lady Shuffle, it didn't work. And usually when I get the honor and the privilege of speaking to those families, I just have to ask enough questions and then I figure out why it didn't work. And you figured it out by the end of your email. And you said, if the pacifier is the issue, I'm not sure how to break it. I think it is. Um, you didn't put in here whether he goes down awake, um, but I'm assuming hopefully he is considering you've been following uh, my book. Um, but is he putting the pacifier back in himself? So at 10 months, he does have that pincher grass, so he probably can pinch it, put it in his mouth. He could even find several of them in his crib. So if you want to keep the pacifier, then I would just toss several of them in his crib and I would start putting first the pacifier in his hand. And then secondly, I would start scooting them over to him and I would start pointing to it. And then finally, I would just point to it and not give it to him. And I would make sure that you're having a pacifier struggle, if you will, at bedtime, not just in the middle of the night. So you want him awake enough when he goes in that the pacifier might fall out and he's rolling around or sitting up or lying down and putting himself to sleep and putting that pacifier back in. Uh, make sure you're also not plugging it in for him during the day and try to do the same thing uh, for naps. And the last thing I want you to look for is make sure you have those nap windows accurate. They don't sound horribly off and it does sound like he's napping well, but 10 and 2 is a a little bit late, um, both in terms of waking from when he wakes up, having an un, uh, an, uh, fragmented night of sleep. So just make sure. Again, if those seem to be his sweet spots, then keep them and work on the night and the pacifier, either weaning the pacifier by not putting him in with it all night long. And again, you can redo the shuffle or by putting several in the crib and having him learn how to put it in his mouth himself. And again, expect a little bit struggle if he's used to you doing it for him. Okay, hang in there. Thank you.